we want to find the points where the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals two divided by x is parallel to the line y equals negative eight thirds x plus four. Remember, if lines are parallel, their slopes are equal, which means we're trying to find the points on the graph of f of x equals two divided by x, where the slope is equal to negative eight thirds, which means we'll have to set the derivative of f of x equal to negative eight thirds and solve for x. This will give us the x coordinates of the points and then we'll have to evaluate the function at the x values to determine the y coordinates. So we are given f of x equals two divided by x. We want to rewrite this using a negative exponent before we find the derivative. Two divided by x is equivalent to two divided by x to the first, which is equal to two x to the power of negative one. And now let's find the first derivative. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of two x to the power of negative one with respect to x, which is equal to two times negative one x to the power of negative one minus one, which is equal to negative two x to the power of negative two, which is equivalent to negative two divided by x squared. And now again, because we're looking for the points where the tangent line is parallel to y equals negative eight thirds x plus three, we will now set the first derivative equal to negative eight thirds. So if f prime of x must equal negative eight thirds, then we know that negative two divided by x squared must equal negative eight thirds. Now to solve for x, we could cross multiply, or we can multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, which is three x squared. I'm gonna go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by three x squared. Simplifying on the left, x squared divided by x squared simplifies to one. We're left with negative six equals, on the right, three divided by three simplifies to one. On the right, we have negative eight x squared. And now it's isolate x squared by dividing both sides by negative eight. Simplifying, we have x squared equals negative six divided by negative eight simplifies to three fourths. And now to solve for x, we take the square root of both sides of the equation. Remember, we are going to have two solutions. We include a plus and minus on the left, which gives us x equals plus or minus. The square root of three fourths is equal to the square root of three divided by the square root of four. And since the square root of four is equal to two, this simplifies the plus or minus the square root of three divided by two. And notice how we have two x values here. So there are going to be two points where the tangent line to the graph of f of x is parallel to the given line, where one point has an x-coordinate of square root three divided by two, and the second point has an x-coordinate of negative square root three divided by two. Now we need to work on determining the y-coordinates by evaluating the function at these x values. Let's first find f of square root three divided by two which is equal to two divided by square root three divided by two. Remember, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, and therefore two divided by the square root of three over two is equal to two, or if we want two over one, times the reciprocal of square root three divided by two, which is two divided by square root three, which gives us four divided by square root three which is perfectly fine, this is an exact value, but I also wanna show how to rationalize the denominator, just in case you're asked to do so. To rationalize the denominator of four divided by square root three, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of three, which gives us four square root three divided by square root three times square root three is three. So we can express the y coordinate as either four divided by square root three or four square root three divided by three. I'm gonna go ahead and just use four divided by square root three. And now we need to find f of negative square root three divided by two. Well, the only difference here is the sign. We have two divided by negative square root three divided by two, which you know is just going to be negative four divided by square root three or negative four square root three divided by three. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and just use negative four divided by square root of three. So these are the two points 
where the tangent lines to f of x are parallel to the line y equals negative 8 thirds x plus 4. So let's take a look at this graphically. The function is graphed in blue. The given line y equals negative 8 thirds x plus 4 is the green line. And we just found these two red points on the function, here and here, where the tangent lines are parallel to the given green line. I hope you found this helpful.